Hi YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to log in um, to Robinhood to automate some trading. We're just going to show you how to log in right now. I don't want to show you exact trading, but my GitHub will have the method available. Feel free to contribute to it. If you know Python, I will review those updates. So first of all, um, I'm using Selenium here and I also have a config.py file. That's important information. We don't want to update that to GitHub because that would be sensitive and we don't want people stealing our stuff. So I'm importing that file here and let's get started. So I want to say I'm, we're going to be using Chrome. So I want to say Chrome options equals options. That's a function here from WebDriver. And I want to set a driver equals to um, get out that all the way driver equals web driver dot chrome and i want to say executable path equals in this case it's um wherever your chrome driver is located i'm not showing you how to install that right now but if you want me to show that um please let me know in the comments below Okay, so I said Chrome options equals Chrome options and I'm getting that executable path. Great. Everything looks good. So let's start the login process. So we're gonna create a method here called login method. I wanna pass in driver and I wanna also pass in config because we need to get the variables from config. Um, so I wanna get the first config variable. And we also need to get that URL. So this is called uh, website URL. That's the first one. Let's just test if this is running. So I'm gonna call login method driver config. Let's see if this runs. So it's gonna open up Chrome, great. And it's gonna go directly to this login page, cool. So we haven't really done anything yet, but this is just the starting point. So I'm gonna exit out of here and go back to my code. So first I wanna get the username and the password. Um, so I'm gonna go to inspect element, click the little inspector. I use Firefox for doing this type of stuff because it's easier, more extensions that are useful right now. Um, so I want to get the username and the password. So I want to find that um, button or that input variable with the drivers of Selenium. So I want to say driver dot find element by name username. Cool. And I want to say password equals driver dot find element by name password cool done now i want to say username dot send keys config that's our uh username and uh password dot send keys config dot password and now I'm done with that. So I got name and the username and the password. So now I got um, this, uh, we'll put the username into this input box and the password into that password box. Cool. <clears throat> now I, I wanna click the um, this sign in button. So I have an extension that will allow us to do that. And notice if I go to the inspector, um, Robin Hood made it a little tricker, tricky for me. They didn't put a name in here and some weird class variable. Maybe I could use type submit, but let's not do that right now. I wanna show you how XPath works and how useful this tool is. So this is XPath Finder created by Thomas Rembax. So let's see how it works. So I click this, I find the sign in button and boom. I have this little div thing down here, cool. 
So I'll go back to my code, and now I want to say driver dot find element by got it x path, and I want to paste that into there. Wait, that's not the right one. There it is. Cool. And then I'm going to append a method onto it called click. And this click function will click that button for us so we don't have to. Because I'm lazy and I don't like clicking buttons. <clears throat> okay, so now I want to say Python automate. But before that, I'm going to have to create a box because I don't want to show you guys my stuff. So, let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Put my terminal in front. That works. See, it clicked it. Okay, now I gotta hide my stuff and it logged in successfully. Great. Yeah, you can see I have TM here, a lot of TM. Go buy a TM, I guess. And I have dog, because dog coin is the best coin. Just kidding. Maybe that will go up to a dollar, hopefully. But yeah. It says Chrome is being controlled by automated software here. And this is for educational purposes. Also, I like Upwork. I work for Upwork. All right. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you. Go to my GitHub and like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more of these crazy videos. All right. Bye.